It was the first time I was in a magazine and I had my artwork there on the front cover of a national magazine. And my co-workers looked at the work and they said, what were you thinking? And I felt so vulnerable because when you're an artist and you're, you are putting your heart and soul in something, you're, you're, you're exposing yourself. You're letting them know. I'm not just painting pretty pictures to say, here, hang this up on your wall. It's like you're telling a story, a little bit about yourself, a little bit how you think. And it's very, it was very difficult for me to do this. I started shooting photography. I was shooting in black and white. I won um, several awards uh, for my black and white work. I went to school actually to learn how to develop because I didn't like what I was getting back. So um, I learned how to develop. I had a, went into a closet to all hours of the night and I started to develop and then I went into color and I fell in love. I fell in love with photography. And um, that's pretty much it. Still I'm in love, but it's changed a little bit more now with the digital age. When you look at an image, the magic comes from definitely the person that's doing it. A digital camera, a lot of people can have a digital camera and you could every, I think everybody, if you line them up, they could take a great shot. But then there'll be that one person that sees something slightly different that really has something and that's where I think it comes from inside. It comes from, it's, it's intellectual and it's, in, it's also in your heart. The world is so open to you with digital. You can do a lot more with the digital camera. It's instant, number one, and then all the programs. It's a lot more versatile. As an artist, also being a painter, it gives you more opportunity to work with and do different things and experiment sometimes. What I'm trying to do, what is for me, is to tell a story. So I think it gives me more opportunity to tell the story because I like writing, I like all types of mediums. So I just feel it's wonderful. It's a great opportunity to do a lot more and say a lot more for me. You know what, it doesn't matter if you took the picture with a old, real old camera versus a new one. If it says something and it moves that person, what do you care? I'll actually write out a story. I'll write out an idea of what I want to do. So I actually create a scenario. It's like a script. I write actually out a script on some of my work. But then there are times where all of a sudden I could look at an image and then a, a whole, whole world evolves out of this one image and then I see other images to pull into it to really get my story across. Sometimes there's an emotion being attached to what I'm looking at. Um, I try not to get too emotional because then that can, that can work against you. So it's like, it's a balance of um, seeing it, capturing it. Sometimes you just know it's going to happen. It's, it's being ready and being aware. Um, the passion and love that I had for my child was um, amazing and to capture all this that was going on within her and the conflicts that we had and the love that we had and um, was very difficult very difficult and I had to express it if you look at the images it's, it's, it's telling a story it starts off with with me my hands are in it um, at one point she's given me the finger there are some images in there that were taken a while back and I put it together to to put the story together of total love and devotion. It's a hard piece talking about that one. Yes. It's, you know, and it was very painful, but it turned out to be really great. She's a great kid. At times I have started up actually with a dream. Uh, one of my pieces behind a window, which was in, in one of my uh, magazines a couple of years ago, um, I had a terrible nightmare. And um, the nightmare was about um, someone breaking into my, my childhood home as a child. And I felt very vulnerable and I woke up with such a start. And I remember things in the dream being very, very disturbing. I decided to script it out what those things meant. So I worked on um, different you know, I wrote the dream out, what I can use to represent those things. 
but that's what I do. Sometimes I'll actually make props from my work. And I took a doll and I smashed it. <laughs> it was real. Could you imagine seeing somebody out there out on the sidewalk bashing in a doll? You think I got problems? But I did it anyway because I had this idea of, you know, putting the doll in the image. I've had people who look at my work and go, oh my God, I can't look at it. It's just, it's great, but I can't look at it because it's disturbing. Some of my work is, some of it's beautiful and some of it is beautifully made look underneath it's not so beautiful there's something going on there that's that's like a little you get an uneasy feeling so um that's that's how I work I wake up in the morning and I, st I just think I'm really blessed to be able to have these outlets that you know if I feel a certain way and I could be able to put it out on paper or even um, to express it I, I just feel I'm very fortunate very gifted to have that I'm blessed so, um, there's nothing more you can say, you know, you wake up and you say, wow, this is pretty cool. You know, I'm doing what I love. That's pretty cool.